December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. On December 7th, in 1941, Japan made a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. More than 2,000 American soldiers were killed, and another 1,000 were wounded. This led Franklin Roosevelt to ask Congress to declare war on Japan. Because of the events that happened at Pearl Harbor and the fear of being at war with Japan, Americans quickly changed their views about Japanese citizens, whom they had never had problems with before. Suddenly, Japanese Americans who blended into society started becoming outcasts. This helped influence Roosevelt's decision to issue Executive Order 906. Roosevelt issued Executive Order 9066, 10 weeks after the bombing at Pearl Harbor. This order forced over 120,000 American citizens of Japanese ancestry to be relocated and moved to locations that the government set up to house them, known as internment camps. You were f required to move if you were Issei, first generation, Nisei, second generation, or Sensei, third generation. There were 10 internment camps set up. Two of these internment camps were in Arkansas, one in Jerome and one in Rowan. As far as I'm concerned, I was born here, and according to the Constitution that I studied in school, that I had the Bill of Rights that should have backed me up. And until the very minute I got onto the evacuation train, I says, it can't be, I says, how can they do that to an American citizen? These people were well established, they had businesses, they had property, and then to be told that you've got to sell it, give it away, or something, and you've only got a week to do it, and you've got 120,000 others that's trying to do the same thing, it is hard, and then after a while we look back and we say, yes, they really were singled out, you would say. What the Japanese didn't realize was that they would have to evacuate and get rid of their land and businesses so abruptly because they were told otherwise. What people don't realize is how much trouble moving was for the Japanese Americans. They had to find people to take care of their businesses, sell them, or even request help to move. Even though some believed the Japanese were safer in the camps, it was an in inconvenience for them, no doubt. We never gave the Japanese Americans a chance. They were never able to prove that they were loyal to America because of the evacuation. Now how fair is that? Every Japanese American did what they had to do to prove to the American government that they were here to be loyal. It didn't matter what we threw on them, they took it without too much complaint. They now consider it in the past, but we should never forget what happened. We should always try to prevent it from happening again also. One thing that they have, the Japanese Americans have asked of us, excuse me, is to keep their story alive. And they have a word, a phrase that they use, shikata ganai, which means it cannot be helped. And gaman, well, we'll just bear with it. So, uh, and then there's another one, nadoto nayani, which means uh, let it not happen again. Um, how do you think the citizens of Arkansas felt about having these camps in the state? They were not, they did not want them at first. Homer Adkins was the governor and he was a rascal. For the, for the most part, Homer Adkins was a white supremacist and he was completely opposed to internment. And then after a while, when the government started dangling a little bit of money in his face, he just said, well, they can come. We can have the camps here, but they can't work outside the camp. Uh, and when their internment is over, they need to leave. And so, but some of the communities surrounding, the communities surrounding both of these camps, uh, they were angry because the camps had running water, electricity, and telephone service, and no one in the communities had any of that. So there was a little bit of friction there. But then after a while, they saw that these people were not a threat, 
and so that's when everything kind of relaxed a little bit. And uh, but yes, they were not able to work outside the camp, but they were encouraged to work in the camp. Okay. Um. Life in the camps was a lot different from what they were used to because, you know, the father was your dominating figure of the family. And when they got into camp, life was completely different. Uh, the women, they couldn't cook in the barracks. It was a mess hall. Each block had a mess hall. And it was very demeaning to the elder Japanese to not be able to have the control over their family that they had. And it was very rustic. Uh, tar paper buildings and the two here in Arkansas were mainly swamps. That's what they refer to them as. Uh, and the climate was so much different. Finally, on November 30th, 1945, to their great relief, the Japanese were released from the camps. They could finally escape from the unfamiliar swamp swampland that they had been forced to call their home for the past three years.